guys, this is Osha and this is going to be a fun, hopefully weekly series about the new spin-off of the Game of Thrones called House of Dragon. And you know, uh, I mean, I you don't even need to know that I loved Game of Thrones to know that I would love it because it has dragons in it. But what I was thinking about doing is, you know, like a, a little tarot practice if you want to, you know, practice understanding what the cards mean um, without, you know, doing something really personal or uh, something that's not easy to, you know, talk about because when you do um, readings for others, you don't want to talk about it publicly because obviously those are personal things. But what you can learn from uh, doing readings for TV shows, for example, is that you can go back and see how you interpreted the cards and what happened. And if you go back and look at the cards in, you know, through the lens of knowing what happened, you can see if you were really off or the, the answer was there, you just had no idea. I think those are all fun things to practice and experience. So what I was thinking about, and I really hate that uh, IMDB wants me to get the freaking app for checking the cast. Like, go away. Ah, good. Because so I was, after the first, you know, the first episode is out, I think the second is maybe coming tomorrow or by the time I'm posting this, it's definitely going to be out. But because I don't want to be spoilerish, in case you haven't seen the episode, it's going to come uh, right around the corner that the next episode drops. So you will have time to, you know, watch this um, reading or watch the episode and then, you know, watch the reading. And what I was thinking about doing for the first, uh, after the first episode or for the first episode is let's just pull a few cards and see who's going to survive because we have a lot bunch of characters. But we know Game of Thrones. It's not really um, known for people to necessarily survive uh, a lot of episodes. <laughs> but, you know, I mean, maybe they change it for... Uh, House of Dragon. I mean, some people will have to die. That's obvious. But I want to know who and <laughs> I don't want to spoil it. But I don't think that you know we can spoil. Oh, poor thing is a bit dusty. <sighs> poor James. I'm so sorry. Um, you know, I don't want to spoil the show, but I don't think I will. So I didn't know because I hate spoilers. So I I avoid everything. I didn't even know that Matt Smith uh, was in, and he was. He's not my favorite doctor, because my favorite new doctor is the 13th doctor. Uh, but the 10th was before that, but he was the 11th. And he was great, and he admitted later that he left too soon, and I agree. He could have been, you know, on longer, and that would have been fun. But he's in the show, and I didn't know, and he kind of looks like an elf, which is kind of funny. But uh, there are... So, let's just check. So... I want to check. There's obviously King Viserys, Targaryen. We're going to check the princess, Rhaenyra. I really don't know how it... Daemon. We need to... Mm, who, who do I want to check? Okay. Okay, we're checking the... Oh, it's going to be spoilerish if I just check the... The cast. Maybe I should... Just, you know what, what I'm gonna do, check the first episode's cast, and then maybe it's not gonna be as spoilerish. So, I'm assuming you already watched it, and it was kind of like, okay, there's not a lot of sex, but there's a lot of, you know, hands chopped off, which was like, eh, okay. And fun, you know, things like, women shouldn't be rulers, because that's just fun. So, yeah, let's do... Uh, and we're gonna learn who the actors are. Teddy Consid Considine, okay. King Viserys, let's check what he's... Hmm, how, to, how to form the question? How he's... <laughs> okay, what's gonna happen overall? Or I don't even know. If you have a, you know, a better question or how, what you, we want, we should ask about the series, please comment down below and also comment down below how do you interpret the cards? Because, like I said, this is just a, uh, and I guess it's an exercise. We're not taking it seriously. We're having fun with learning how to interpret cards. I think that's just always fun. 
Okay. Oh, give me some. Give me one card, please. Okay, I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing that the cards are like. I don't want to talk about this. <laughs> okay, let's not sit forever here. Ooh, three of swords, heartbreak for sure. Where? I mean, he had heartbreak in the first episode because his wife and child died. So I would say heartbreak is definitely in the cards for him. And, oh, okay, but he's gonna find some sort of a financial or earthly resourcely independence and being able to be content with what he has. Okay, I kind of like that. So for King Wizards, it's kind of looking good right now. I don't think I want to see, you know, in the long run, just maybe, uh, let's just check. I'm not, not necessarily going to say next episode, just, you know, like short term. So that's King Wizards. Let's see, I'm more curious about Matt Smith's character. Prince Demon Targaryen. He kind of looks like he's a douchebag. But... I don't know if he's gonna, you know, go down the... We're gonna change into a nice person. But I think for Matt Smith that would be boring. I kind of expect him to go down the... Let's corrupt... <laughs> okay. Let's corrupt, um, you know, things around and... People and princesses. Because there was a kind of like a weird chemistry kind of thing when he handed that necklace over to princess i was like okay are we gonna go down that road because you're supposed to be related but we know that that's not a thing <laughs> for dark areas but i i suspect some some not so nice influence you know what i'm gonna take this one hmm okay interesting so Hanged man, and we know now what it means more. So he is definitely uh, in a box. I don't know if he put himself in the box or, you know, his family put himself in that role or how he acts, but he's definitely there. But it kind of means that he can get out of it. For him, it's going to be a good one because, you know, being the empress... It can be that he he become a ruler, but you know, you know, I mean, if you watch my first impression, these two cards were in there. And I mentioned that how I, what I love about the Empress card is it can signify the light and the shadow aspect of a ruler. So he can definitely, and I'm, you know, he wants to be a ruler. I mean, I think I, that was quite obvious. So there could be a choice coming for him when he needs to cho choose between what's the right thing to do and what is something that he needs to, or not needs to, he wants to do because he wants to become the ruler, the empress. It's quite interesting if, you know, it's the choice is going to come that will lead him out of this box that he's placed in. Or because he can get out of that, you know, how everyone perceives him or what he, everyone thinks he is. And then become this more, you know, elevated person. Also, I cannot help to think that the Empress could be the princess as well. With that, you know, family kind of, we're, we're related, not related kind of storyline. I'm not sure if they want to go down that way. But, okay, I mean, okay, it's interesting, and let's see the princess then, I'm not sure if I, maybe I will check the, do, do, do. she had a friend, yeah, high tower, <laughs> It's so cool to see these names, you know, knowing what will happen to them. To, not to them, but to the family in the future. But let's check how the princess. Oh, princess of the sun. Okay, that's a good one. 
Prince, uh, you know, the sun is not just being all happy and whatnot, but getting clarity. And oh boy, was she getting clarity in the first episode <laughs> after all, all the things happened. Like, what was expected of her and, you know, what life is actually all about. But we also have the Three of Spears, which is the Three of Wands, which is how I read it, is not just looking at what you want, but finally deciding that you're gonna step up and go for it. And not entirely knowing where you wanna go or where you will go. Because if you look at all the ships that are going, uh, yeah, you know where you sent the ships and where the ships are actually going. So, you know, you can get on one and start the journey. But we know that a lot of things can happen um, on the sea. Things can change. And that can be, you know, intimidating or make you feel anxious not to start. But it's time to actually work with that energy, that fire that you have and step up and start the journey, which is, I think it's fitting for the princess who suddenly is like, oh, okay, you were not deemed good enough because you're a woman. <laughs> but now, you know, we don't have anybody else. So, hey, you're the heir. So, hmm, interesting, and I kind of, kind of like it. So, you know, ooh. <laughs> okay, so this was the first reading of the first episode. Please do let me know. Do you watch the TV show? Do you like it? Did you, did you have any expectations going in? Because, like I said, I, I avoided everything. I, guess I'm still gonna do that. I think I'm gonna make notes while I watch the second episode to see what I want to watch, so I don't have to check anything and spoil anything <laughs> because yeah i hate knowing who plays who that that sort of level of you know spoilers but yeah what's your interpretation of the cards for each character and who do you want who do you think we should check on uh, besides these mains because there are a lot of characters but if you have a favorite already you want to check in on please do let me know and you know Let's have fun and let's play together and see you in the next one. Like, subscribe, do those all those YouTube things and see you in the next one. Bye. Have the best day possible. Honestly. I think that's going to be the thing that I'm going to say because a lovely day is not always possible, but I'm wishing you the best day possible and, you know, better ones after that. Bye.